Alright guys, what is up? Wow, it's Jake here and today we are talking about something very, very important. That's right, Megamind. Uh, Peacock just announced today that we are not only getting a Megamind 2 official movie, we are also getting a Megamind TV series to follow up that movie immediately after. I want to do like a live reaction to this, but before we get into it, there's a couple things that I'm going to point out right off the bat, okay? So we don't have to stop during the video. So you may have heard that none of the voice actors are coming back, and that's correct. We got no Will Ferrell, we got no Tina Fey, we got no Jonah Hill. Uh, it is all new voice actors. We're going to hear how they sound. The other thing about it is this is 100% that classic DreamWorks TV show animation. All right, think Penguins of Madagascar, think Boss Baby back in action. They have fully downgraded the animation to that level. And I understand it's cheaper, but in my opinion, two things you wanna avoid when renewing a series or a property of any kind is make sure you at least have one of the original voice actors back and two don't downgrade the animation so much that everyone can tell it looks bad like i mean that's the main thing let's get into the reaction this is megamind 2 the doom syndicate all right Oh no. Just joining us. That's me, Megamind, master of all villainy. Until I realized my destiny was to be a So you can tell this is so I'm gonna pause. You can tell that was old footage and that looked fine. That that all looked good. Megamind is back. I'm kind of a big deal. And you're welcome. But you can tell to be as your hero. Wow. You were threatening the city a few days ago. Now here's a Okay, so a couple, couple things, we'll stop. Is they 100% made him like a lighter shade of blue. I don't really know whose decision that was. I don't know if it just came out that way because that's how this new animation just makes it look. Uh, but I mean, I'm literally seeing the picture of old Megamind right here next to the trailer and he's 100% like a darker shade of blue. So the blooming him out and making him brighter like that looks bad. Uh, and the other thing is she just said, you were trying to destroy us a couple days ago. So we do have confirmation that this in fact takes place like days after the events of the last one in 2011. Adorable in a pushy sort of way. Here's a souvenir. It's either a paperweight or a flash grenade, so careful with that. I think that's a good joke. That is a mega mind joke. He would say that. DreamWorks animation. The Doom Syndicate. The disguise them more than button down. These guys look. Okay. Mega mind. So Roxanne sounds fine. I can't really tell much of a difference because. I think in the original, Tina Fey didn't do that really crazy of a voice, so it just sounds like another white woman, genuinely. Uh, there's not a real difference. Um, we have this shot of the Doom Syndicate here. They look fucking terrible. Uh, some, a night, literally night, night. Oh my God, do you see that? The night has NK on his fucking armor and he has stars and moons. 100% this motherfucker's name is Night Night. Please, that is so bad. And then we have some, like, a generic lava rock monster. Um, a woman that looks like Miss Frizzle. <laughs> and then a mime. Like, who are these people? <laughs> Your old crew. Before jumping into evil business, fish 
The thing is, the charades joke is it is keeping in with Mega Mind. Like that. That's he mispronounces things. That's like the big shtick. That's why he's so funny. Um, but then literally to undercut like a decent joke, and then have all the villains go no what was that bro literally what was that until i can stop them we must keep up evil appearances that's pretty devious think like a hero those life skaters are about to get squished it does not look good for them oh right i'm a hero now again i i like that joke too that is like exactly what Megamind would do. I think, I think the writing for Megamind himself sounds like they still got the same vibe, but it's just this voice actor is not delivering. I really, really want to go watch the original after this and compare. Camera fell. We're just finishing out like this because my camera f keeps falling and I can't be bothered to keep putting it back up there. Oh, guess it was a flash grenade. Megamind versus the Doom Syndicate, the new film. And if you love Megamind as much as he does, me is one of my favorite things in the whole wide world. Keep the fun going with Megamind Rules, the new series. That's the plan. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, just really, really dated animation. It just looks like Penguins of Madagascar. It is insane to me that no one will give DreamWorks TV some more fucking money and just have them make a show that looks better than Penguins of Madagascar. They peaked there and unfortunately cannot make a better looking show than that. Obviously, we said the voice acting, I think... They all sound pretty bad. Uh, um, and I completely forgot to Minion is voiced by David Cross, who's a fucking incredible actor, incredible voice actor. And I'm honestly surprised he didn't come back because he at least is more willing to do silly things for less pay. Will Ferrell, I knew they weren't getting back. I knew there was no amount. I mean, you can see how the show looks and just know they didn't have enough money to get Will Ferrell, like, obviously. So I didn't have my hopes up for that, but I was hoping they'd get somebody that sounds even remotely like him, but they didn't. They didn't. Anyway, guys, that is going to do it pretty much for me. Uh, that's my opinions. I'm not looking forward to this. When they realized they weren't going to be able to get any of the original voice actors back, they should have called it dead in the water right there. But uh, thank you guys for watching anyways. And I've been Wow, It's Jake. Let me know what you thought in the comments. And I will talk to you next time.